Ohio. Edinburgh, the capital of Scotland. Since 1437. And her second largest city. Administrative centre of the district city of Edinburgh. The population of Edinburgh in 2019 made 524.9 thousand people. It is the seventh largest city of the United Kingdom. It is located on the east coast of Scotland, the territory of the Lowlands, on the southern coast of the Gulf Firth of Fort. The districts of Edinburgh, the Old City and the New City, in 1995 were entered by UNESCO in the list of World Heritage Sites. Since the 6th century, Aydin is known as the Lock Fortress of the Britsky royal family. At the beginning of the 7th century, the Lock is captured by Anglo, which added Burr, Lock, Fortress, to his family name, having formed Aydin Burr, Aydin Lock. Edinburgh is famous for the picturesque situation on three coastal hills, spurs of Pentlansky Hills. English. Russian between the Lake River. English. Russian and the Mountain Arthur's Throne. 251 M. Which is going down to the west from Edinburgh steep slopes. Salisbury Craig. The downtown is divided into southern, ancient, with very narrow streets, a part and into a new part which was built up according to the plans in 1768. The ravine dividing both parts of the city. The former Lake Loch Nor is turned into the park. In the downtown on the Castle Rock in the southwest corner of the huge park, the Edinburgh Castle is located. From the loch, the scenic view of the sea and the city opens. On the east outskirts of the city, there is a Holyrood Palace. From the largest Scottish city of Glasgow of Edinburgh separate 74 came, and to London the distance makes 648 came. In Brockhouse and Ephraim's Encyclopedic Dictionary it is specified Edinburgh earlier ancient Roman military parking in Britain, Alotacastra. And the first written mention of the settlement around fortress as about the city belongs to 1124 when the decree of the King David I in Edinburgh founded Holy Cross Church. The address to recipients in the Royal Diploma in Latin says Ecclesi Sanct Crucis Edwina Burgensi, and such form of the name of the city can demonstrate that at the time there was a belief in origin of the name on behalf of the King Edwin. Anyway, other name of the city, Ednisburch is mentioned in the charter of the King William I Lev of 1170. Edinburgh began to grow quickly in the 12th century when David I Sviatoy transferred the royal court from Dunfermline to the Edinburgh Castle, and after emergence the status of the capital finally was fixed in the 13th century of Parliament of Scotland behind him. In Maria Stuart's reign the royal court was placed in the Edinburgh Holaretkus Palace and when in 1603 the throne passed to Yaakov VI, followed the king to London. After in 1707 the Parliament of Scotland was abolished, the value of Edinburgh in the political relation decreased a little, however cultural life of the city continued to prosper and reached the highest blossoming in the Age of Enlightenment when here many outstanding scientists and philosophers of the time lived and worked. In the middle of the 19th century there was a sharp increase in population of Edinburgh, generally at the expense of the emigrants from Ireland running for the Irish potato hunger. Today Edinburgh, one of the regions of Great Britain which are most prospering economically. Economic recovery took place in 1999 when the Parliament of Scotland then in the city a large number of government agencies was formed was restored and in this regard growth of employment of the population began. 
now unemployment rate in Edinburgh one of the lowest in the country. The population of the city gradually increases, mainly due to inflow of emigrants from other countries, to a lesser extent, thanks to the residents of other regions of Great Britain moving to Edinburgh. For Edinburgh, as well as in general for Scotland, the temperate sea climate, rather soft, is characteristic in spite of the fact that the city is located on quite high northern latitude. In comparison with Moscow and Labrador lying at the same width. Newfoundland. Winters in Edinburgh are rather warm, with a temperature which is seldom falling below zero C. In the summer in Edinburgh, rather cool weather with a temperature which isn't exceeding 23 C remains. Also for Edinburgh, characteristic frequent heavy rains. The amount of precipitation is more or less evenly distributed on months. And southwest wind. In October and March in the city, the Atlantic cyclones, so-called European storms, have a considerable impact on weather. Such climatic features are caused by geographic location of Edinburgh, the city stands on the coast therefore weather is formed at the expense of air flows from the North Sea. By results of a census the population of Edinburgh in 2001 was 430,930 men. In 2005 this number, according to the main Department of Civil Registration of Scotland, increased up to 457,830 people, 48%. 220,094 people, from which make men and 52%. 237,736 people, women. At the time of assessment in 2010, in Edinburgh live 486,120 people, from them 235,249 men and 250,871 women. According to a population census of 2001, 507,170 people from whom 459,366 people lived in city boundaries Edinburgh lived in the district city of Edinburgh. In Edinburgh there are more than 8% of inhabitants aged from 16 up to 24 years, than on average in Scotland, but it is lower than 8% of elderly people and children of preschool age. More than 95% of the population carry themselves to white, 1.6% Chinese, 0. 8% Hindus make. In 2001, 22% of percent of the population of Edinburgh were born outside Scotland, from them 12.1% in England. Owing to expansion of the EU in 2004, a large number of migrants from Poland, Lithuania and Latvia lodged in the city, most of them works in services industry. The Presbyterian Church of Scotland has a bigger number of adherents than at any other religion. In 2010, 83 arrivals were a part of the Edinburgh Presbytery. The most known church, Cathedral of St. Egedia, who is a patron of the city. The Centre of Islam in Edinburgh, the Cathedral Mosque. It was open in late the 1990th, construction was financed by the King of Saudi Arabia Fahd. In the city there are also other mosques. The first records about presence of Jews in Edinburgh belong to a late 18th century. The Orthodox Synagogue of Edinburgh was opened in 1932. The Buddhism in Edinburgh is presented by followers of Titnayatan Theravada. The Monastery on Slightford Road. The Clean Earth Sotosu. The Monastery to Portobello and other directions. 
In Edinburgh there are also followers of belief of the K. Tiasovsky society, and a small number of the practicing pagans. Edinburgh, one of the regions of Great Britain which are most prospering economically. Economic recovery took place in 1999 when the Parliament of Scotland then in the city a large number of government agencies was formed was restored and in this regard growth of employment of the population began. Now unemployment rate in Edinburgh, one of the lowest countrywide, an extent of providing the population with jobs, one of the highest. The population of Edinburgh gradually increases, mainly due to inflow of emigrants from other countries and to a lesser extent thanks to the inhabitants of other regions of Great Britain who moved to Edinburgh. The most developed sector of economy of Edinburgh is services sector, namely tourism, banking, education and development of high technologies. In 1695, the decision of Parliament of Scotland founded National Bank of Scotland. Now he is a part of the Hebo's holding company which had offices in Edinburgh. The Royal Bank of Scotland was founded by the Royal Decree in 1747 and now takes the fifth place in the world ranking of market capitalization. Edinburgh is the second largest. After London. The economic center of Great Britain and the fifth in general across Europe. Historically offices of many companies were located in the new city and in the center of Edinburgh, but eventually business life moved to other areas. So, to the west from the downtown on the project of the architecture referral, the exchange business district business center, the place of dislocation of investment and finance corporations, such as Scottish Widows, Standard Life, Clydesdale Bank and Bailey Gifford was created. Besides in the western part of the city near the airport of Edinburgh, there is the Edinburgh Park, a business park zone in the territory of which offices of the Royal Bank of Scotland, Hobby BB Bank and the Hebos Holding Company are located. One of traditionally developed fields of economy of Edinburgh is brewing. After closing in 2005 of Fountain Bridge Brewery, Caledonian Brewery became the largest brewery of the city. Besides in Edinburgh there is a head office of Scottish in Newcastle Brewery, one of the world's largest. Other important field of economy of Edinburgh, tourism. Edinburgh is the most popular destination of Scotland. The type of tourist activity falls on summer months when in Edinburgh there takes place the Festival of Orbs bringing to the city up to £100 million sterling of annual profit and for the beginning of year when in the city there is large-scale celebration of Hogmanay, the Scottish New Year. Besides, the significant contribution to city economy brings business tourism and also holding various meetings at world level, scientific and diplomatic conferences, sporting events and the championships, musical and theatre festivals. So, in 2003 in Edinburgh the ceremony of delivery of the awards MTV Europe Music Awards which result was a sharp jump of local economy was held. Edinburgh, the main transport hub and the centre of railway communication of the West Central Scotland. The bus, the main passenger transport of Edinburgh. The main bus companies, Lothian Buses and First Bus. In 2007 renewal of the tram message stopped in 1956 is approved. The construction which began in 2008 interfaced to numerous delays and problems with financing according to the present plan. For 2012. In 2014 connected the airport to Santander Square in the downtown. On May 31 in the capital of Scotland the tram message was renewed.
The first structure went from the center of Edinburgh towards the airport six years later after the beginning of construction of the line. Five hundred twenty one million GT were spent for construction of the tram line that it is almost twice more than it was budgeted initially. The new line connected the main points of Edinburgh to the airport. Knock of tram wheels the Scottish capital didn't hear long fifty eight years. Initially the line was developed for residents, but as a result it will become a starting point of the new transport system of Edinburgh. The tram branch with a total length of 14 km has 15 stops, structures ply each 8, 15 minutes depending on time of day. The cost of one trip for the adult is 1.50 GP, to the airport minus 5 GP. The Edinburgh Waverley Station, the main railway station of Edinburgh. The railway line East Coast Main Line passing through it connects the city to London, Dundee, Aberdeen and other cities of Great Britain. Near the station the route ends Highway A, the longest enumerated road of Great Britain. In Edinburgh, the airport, the eighth largest international airport of Great Britain functions, which serves the international and local flights connecting the city to many cities of Great Britain and Europe. It is located in 13 Cane to the west from the downtown. In August, the world's largest annual Edinburgh festival is held here. At this time the population of the city because of influx of tourists doubles. Edinburgh attracts about 13 million tourists annually and is the second most popular. After London. A destination of the United Kingdom. Culture. The Museum of Writers, the exposition of the museum is devoted to life and works of great Scottish writers and poets. Sir Walter Scott, Robert Burns, Robert Louis Stevenson and others. The Museum of the Childhood, in the museum the big collection of children's toys. From dolls to tricycles. From all parts of the world is collected. The Museum of Edinburgh, the exposition of the museum illustrates the history of Edinburgh from antiquity up to now. European Deadlock, the added to the category of museum objects underground street of the 17th century in the old city emerged in the process of construction of the new building of the city administration in the 18th century and opened only at the beginning of the old. The camera obscura and the world of illusions. The museum in the central part of the old city, on Royal Mile which main exhibit is the huge operating camera obscura of the 19th century. The Scottish Centre of Heritage of Whisky, the Museum of Scotch Whisky. Royal Britannia Yacht. Galleries. National Gallery of Scotland, the Art Gallery, oldest in the region. It is located in the centre of Edinburgh on a joint of borders of the old and new city. In gallery the richest collection of the European painting and a sculpture which covers the considerable period since Renaissance until late post-impressionism era is presented and includes cloths of Vermeer, Rubens, Titian, Tintoretto, Van Dyck, El Greco, Rembrandt, Watteau, Gainsborough, Monet, Gauguin, Pissarro, Cezanne and other great artists. The National Portrait Gallery of Scotland, an exposition of gallery consists of portraits of the famous Scots. Governors, national heroes, poets, revolutionaries and other historic figures. The National Gallery of the Modern Art of Scotland, this gallery founded in 1960 originally was located in the pavilion in the territory of the Royal Botanical Garden and presented to visitors quite modest exposition. 
Now the collection of gallery contains more than 50 hundred objects of art of the most various genres, from picturesque cloths before video installations. Temples St. Giles's Cathedral Cathedral Mosque Edinburgh is house for more than three tens various festivals and festivals, the most known of which are The Edinburgh International Film Festival is held annually since 1946. The Edinburgh International Book Festival is held annually since 1983, takes place in the second half of August. Edinburgh Friends, one of the biggest and well-known festivals of arts of the world attracting the audience from the different countries. By tradition opens a fancy dress procession along the main city street, Royal Mile. Within three weeks the city becomes a continuous enchanting show. In theatres, clubs, pubs, schools and on streets play more than 1500 performances, concerts, a show and representations. Passes from August 9 to August 31. The Edinburgh Parade of Military Orchestras is held annually beginning since 1950, takes place in the first three weeks of August. Military orchestras of the different countries of the world, drummers, pipers, processions of acrobats and cheerleaders participate in a grandiose musical theatrical performance. Education University of Edinburgh, the largest higher educational institution of Scotland, was founded by the decree of the King James I in 1583, being thus the fourth in date the bases in Scotland, after the University of Street Andrews, University of Glasgow and University of Aberdeen. In 1506 and 1681 the Edinburgh Royal Surgical College and the Edinburgh Royal Medical College, also under the decree of a crown were founded respectively. In 1760 in the city there was an Edinburgh Academy of Arts which in 1907 received the status of institute and a new name, the Edinburgh College of Arts. The University College of the Queen Margaret called in honour of Street. Margarita Chotlanskaya, the wife of the King Malcolm III was founded in 1875 and originally was counted only on training of women. In 1821 in the city the School of Technical Training of Young Workers which received later the status of the university and was renamed in honor of the Scottish inventor mechanic James Watt into the Hiriadvada University was opened. Napier's university called by the name of the Scottish mathematician John Napier earlier was college. It is founded in 1964 and received the status of the university in 1992. One of the leading business schools is the Edinburgh Business School. Edinburgh, the homeland of football clubs, Hibernian, Hibernian, in abbreviated form Hibs, and Heart of Midlothian, Heart of Midlothian, in translation, Midlothian's Heart, in abbreviated form Hearts. Both clubs are a part of the Scottish Premier League. Hibernian plays at I used up the road stadium in Lith, Heart of Midlothian, at the Edinburgh Stadium, Tynecastle. In 2008 there took place the World Cup in a cross country. Sites Thanks to high architectural and historical value the central part of Edinburgh in 1995 was entered in the UNESCO World Cultural Heritage List. The territory includes the old city with medieval architecture and constructions of the period of the Scottish Reformation, the new city which resulted from expansion of borders of the city in the 18th century with neoclassical architecture, and the northern part of West End differing in complete building in the Victorian style. One of the main tourist objects is St. Giles's Cathedral, the main Presbyterian Church of Edinburgh. 
the Edinburgh Castle located in the downtown on the Castle Rock considerably towers over Edinburgh. The lock was constructed in the Middle Ages. The oldest of the remained buildings, St. Margarita's Chapel, is dated in early 12th century. The lock remained the royal residence up to reunification of Scotland and England in 1603. Since the 17th century, the lock was given for a military base and also prison. In the 19th century, the Edinburgh Castle was restored and now is a historical monument. Now the lock acquaints visitors first of all with the military history of Edinburgh. And in the National War Museum of Scotland, a set of the former military constructions and defensive works, one of the largest guns of the world, Mons Meg, was located. A daily attraction in the territory of the lock is the hour gun. On the esplanade in front of the lock, the Royal Edinburgh Parade of Military Orchestras is annually held. One of the main attractions of the city is the Royal Mile series of the medieval streets and the deadlocks adjoining to them passing through the old city with the Edinburgh Castle and the Cathedral Hub to the Holyrood Palace. Before expansion of the city in the 18th century the Royal Mile was within city walls and, being densely populated, was considered as an unsuccessful part of Edinburgh. So, in the 19th century near Royal Mile there were well-known Westportsky murders. Numerous deadlocks, for example, Mary King deadlock, still store stories of the last centuries. Now on Miller there are museums. The Camera Obscura, the Museum of Whiskey, the Museum of the Childhood, the Museum of National History. St. Giles's Cathedral, Gift Shops. Near Royal Mile there is a region of grass market with a set of pubs and nightclubs. In Edinburgh and its vicinities there are main events of the novel of Walter Scott, The Heart of Midlothian. In Edinburgh there are actions of many novels of Irving Welsh, for example, On a Needle, Shit, Blue, Porn, Smake Ears. Cinema. Some movies which action happens in Edinburgh. 1994, A Superficial Grave, the director Danny Boyle, in a leading role Ewan McGregor. 1996, Jude, the director Michael Winterbottom, in a leading role of Kate Winslet. I acted in the downtown. 1996, On a Needle, the director Danny Boyle, in roles Ewan McGregor and others. The film is shot according to the novel of Edinburgh's at Irvin Welsh. His most part was removed in the city, including the dirtiest toilet of Scotland. And the scene in which Renton with friends look at the passing trains was removed on a Heathland Rannoch Moscow Criminal Investigation Department. 1998, The Acid House, the director Paul McGigan. I acted in Edinburgh and Glasgow. 2003. Young Adam, the director David Mackenzie, in roles Ewan McGregor and the Tilt Suinton. I acted in Edinburgh and Glasgow. 2010, Illusionist, the director Sylvain Chome, leading roles were sounded by Jean-Claude Tonda and Eilid Rankin. A considerable part of a plot is developed in Edinburgh of the 1950th years. 2011, One Day, the director Lon Scherfig, in leading roles Jim Styords is in Anne Hathaway. 2012, The Cloudy Atlas, directors Tom Tickwer, Andy Vachowski, Lena Vachowski. 2013, Dirt, the director John S. Baird. 2013, Sunshine on Leith. 2011, 2014, Crimes of Past Slash Case Histories. Series. The director. Mark Dubs, Bill Anderson, Dan Zeff. All so far. Write comments. Read comments. 
interesting people will tell interesting stories. All of good mood and good luck.